Hey everyone, before I started today's video, thank you for your support for my channel. On March 1st, I had a 235 subscribers, and at the end of March, I had uh, 334 subscribers. So that means I got uh, 99 new subscribers in March. That was really unexpected. In February, I got uh, 29 new subscribers. So result of March makes me happy and surprised. So please subscribe my channel, hit the like button, or leave a comment. Again, uh, thank you for your support. Today we are going to solve the read code question, mean stack. So design a stack that supports uh, push, pop, top, and uh, retrieving the minimum element in constant time. Implement the mean stack class. Um, so there are one, two, three, four, five methods we have to implement. And then mean stack, so initialize the stack object and uh, push uh, push the element uh, value onto the stack and the pop remove the element on the top of the stack and the top uh, gets the top element of the stack and and the uh, get mean uh, retrieves the mean element in the stack so you must implement the solution with o1 time complexity for each function. This is a medium uh, level question, but uh, I think uh, this is an easy question. Um, it's very um, simple, but um, there's a tricky point in um, push method. So I'll explain uh, only push method, and the other method will be uh, explained in the code. Okay, so let me explain push function. Okay, so let me explain push method with uh, this example. So input number should be minus two, zero, minus three. And uh, this is this is stack. So tricky point is that uh, how can we um, uh, uh, retrieve the mean element in the stack? Because uh, if um, usually um, stack, um, when we get the data from stack, um, uh, it always like a uh, get uh, like a top element in the stack. So that means if uh, we push the, like a minus two, zero, minus three, so like a minus two, zero, minus three, and uh, if we uh, pop data, uh, it always uh, first of all um, get the minus three. After that, zero and minus two, but. Uh, there is a function like a get mean. Um, uh, it works like a retrieve a mean element in the stack. Yeah, in this case, that's fine. Uh, but what if a minus 3 is here? And then uh, this is, a, let's say, minus 1. In that case, we have to retrieve this data from stack, even if this data is a, like a fast data in the stack. So to implement to the get mean uh, method. Um, every time before we push the data, um, we have to keep the current uh, minimum value uh, with a uh, current value. So uh, so let's say uh, we try to push like a minus two, zero, minus three, and uh, so first number is minus two. And uh, before we push the minus two, uh, call the like, get mean method. And uh, if um, data, there is no data, or uh, current mean is greater than current data, in that case, uh, we put the current data as a um, minimum value. So in this case, uh, there is no data, so minus two is a uh, current data also a uh, minimum data so we uh, put uh, like a minus two <coughs> and a minus two and then next uh, we find a zero and uh, before we push the zero into stack um, call the get mean method and then get the this minus two and uh, compare current number versus uh, current mean uh, value and the minus two is uh, uh, less than zero. In that case, uh, we put current data zero 
and then minimum uh, value is a minus two. And then um, and if we um, execute a get min method, and we can pop the data from here minus two, this minus two. So um, even though minus two is the first uh, value in the stack, uh, we successfully get the minus two uh, from the like a uh, um, very last uh, value. And then um, uh, let's continue. Is if minus three is a uh, less than uh, minus two? Actually not. Uh, actually yes. Um, so minus three is a new uh, minimum value. So in that case, um, current number minus three and the minimum value should be minus three. So in that case, if um, we execute the get min method, um, minus three is a, a return value. And uh, if um, we pop, uh, in that case, uh, these numbers are um, uh, taken from a, a stack. And then if we pop the, uh, we, okay, let's say uh, if we execute top, in that case, um, zero is a return value. And then if um, we execute um, get min method again, in that case, um, this minus two is a return value. Yeah, um, that is a basic idea to solve this question. So with that being said, let's get into the code. Okay, so let's write the code. Uh, first of all, um, init method is like a self dot stack um, equal uh, empty array. Actually, that's it. And uh, yeah, I implement a push um, method later. So let's implement pop. Yeah, this is a very easy, just self dot stack dot pop. Yeah, that's it. And uh, let's implement top. So we need to return uh, integer. So return self stack. And then um, we need to uh, um, we need to uh, uh, reach the value from uh, um, last. So that means uh, this uh, minus one enable us to uh, reach the value from the last. And then uh, we need to uh, get the current value. So uh, we put zero here. And then if self dot stack so stack has data we should return an uh, integer if not just return a uh, no and uh, get mean so actually it's almost same as a top method so self dot stack and a minus one and a one if self dot stack stack has data if not, return no. Yeah, that's it. And uh, let's implement the push method. So min bar equal self dot get min. And uh, if uh, min bar equal non or min bar is a uh, greater than um, current value in the case uh, mean bar will be updated um, with current value and then um, push the uh, values uh, into a stack so self dot stack dot append and then um, first value is current value and then mean value 
yeah um that's it so i hope uh, this works so let me submit it yeah looks good so let me summarize step-by-step -step algorithm this is a step-by-step -step algorithm of mean stack so um, init initializer uh, initialize stack and uh, push method uh, step one call get mean method step two if the current mean value is known or greater than current value then uh, minimum value is updated with the current value and uh, push like a uh, current value and a uh, minimum value um, in pop method just a pop data from stack and a uh, top return stack uh, minus one and a zero value if stack has data if not return none and the top and uh, not top <laughs> get mean um get mean method um return stack minus one and one uh, if stack has data if not return no yeah um that's it i hope this video helps you understand this question well if you like it please subscribe the channel hit the like button or leave your comment I'll see you in the next question.